What's up guys, Deploy and Lust here, and today we're going to be starting to talk about factions. And we're going to start with Crimea. Crimea has the second best starting base in the game, right after Rustvate, and let's cover why that is. First off, you have a worker on a village. You're the only other faction besides Rustvate to have a worker on a village, which means if you want, you can start producing and getting your five workers out. You also have a worker on a farm. While super early game, it's not quite as good as having a worker on a mountain. It still is really, really good and really important specifically for Crimea. What are your goals in the early game? Well, a, one of the biggest priorities you're going to have in the game is getting your first enlist action. Um, getting your first enlist can be, well, on this board it's difficult and on some other boards it's pretty difficult. But your first enlist should be generally your first or your second priority. Why is that? Well, your first enlist will allow you to deploy for um, to get your recruit combat cards. Assuming your neighbors are good, they're also going to be enlisting at some point in the game. And even if they aren't enlisting at some point in the game, you're going to be getting all your enlists. So this will act as an upgrade on your combat card or your enlist action already. And as you only have to you pay one less to uh, enlist and if you use a combat card to enlist you'll get a combat card to replace it. In addition the two combat cards that you get will allow you to accelerate your early game. They'll allow you to pay less for your first mech. They'll allow you to pay less for an upgrade potentially if you want to do that and they'll allow you to pay less just for everything basically. <clears throat> So if you can get that list out really quickly, that's going to be huge, huge, huge for your early game. Your other priority, either your first or your second, is get up to five workers. This means you're going to want to take two produce actions in place. Um, moving first, as tempting as it is, is ultimately unnecessary and also going to slow your game down a little bit too much to actually be worth it. So you're going to want to get two producers out so you can get five workers. With everything except for Crimea Industrial, and I'll cover a build on that later, which is the only eight worker Crimea board. So you get your first enlist, you get five workers, what's next? You get your speed mech, you plant your speed mech on the village where your four other workers are. And then you split among food and steel. Um, splitting among food and steel is really good. Um, you actually get a more efficient split of food and steel than Rustvate does, which is one of the advantages you have over them, as they have no choice but to put four workers on food and one on steel. You have a choice of putting three on food, two on food, whatever you need, and any amount on steel. So like, for instance, with this mat, with five workers, you can put three on food, two on steel, and since you're Crimea, you can actually get your enlists off for three and uh, get your mechs off for two without any upgrades. Um, and once you get your speed mech and you split the workers, obviously you pick up your encounter with the other movement. And then you get to start thinking about your decisions. You're going to be, odds are, most Crimea games, you deploy all your mechs, you get all your enlists. Definitely get all your enlists. Um, but after that, it's really up to your cards, up to a lot of other things as to where you go from there. Your second mech should probably be Riverwalk, as your Wafer ability is actually pretty bad. I've only ever seen it be truly useful if there's like one worker here or something with some resources on it and you want to like dive in and grab whatever resources were on there. Excuse me one second. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, or if there's, it, it allows you to get some combats later on into the game if somebody's on an inactive faction area. But past that, the Wayfair I haven't actually seen be at all useful. Whenever people have tried to pop out like here to try and get this encounter, it's just way too slow especially considering you want this encounter. 
and then going to this encounter is slower than if you just got Riverwalk and went to this encounter. Now this encounter is the best encounter in the game um, in neutral territory. I don't count this ter I don't count this one in neutral territory, for instance. Um, the reason that is is you're only two away from the factory. And since your first mech is a speed mech, this is the only encounter available that actually gets you immediately to the factory with one move action. That's in neutral territory. So your river walk will allow you to get onto here, and if you're done with one of these two resources, it'll allow you to get onto this wood if you want to start getting buildings. Totally viable. Uh, Crimea, their ability to use faction card or combat cards will allow you oftentimes to not only get like mechs and enlists, but can also get you buildings as well on the real cheap um, spectrum of bases. So. I will find myself oftentimes getting onto this wood and getting onto this encounter at some point after I'm done with one or both of these resources. Um, potentially getting onto oil as well, depending on my board. If I'm done with all the resources, for instance. Now, factory cards aren't that important for Crimea. They're more just a thing you either pick up or you don't. The issue with a lot of factory cards for Crimea is the best ones generally use combat cards as a payment. Uh, some of the exceptions are the ones that use combat power for, for reputation, for instance. That's a very good one for Crimea. And the ones that use gold to take bottom row actions as well as allow you to move. Another powerful option for Crimea. But you don't always have a strong option for Crimea. Maybe the strongest option is like you pay a combat card and you do something pretty powerful, but you have to keep in mind that you actually care about combat cards. It's a limited resource for you. Um, anything else you really need to know on Crimea? Your mech priority is going to be speed, then riverwalk, then scout, then wayfare. Wayfare, again, is only useful for the final star if your opponents are in inactive factions with a combat that you need to find. Since you're getting all your enlists, there's a good chance you're going to be able to uh, get your power up to 16 as a star, especially if you're able to upgrade your bolster power action. Oh yeah, that's it. Crimea doesn't really upgrade the bolster power action. If you can get an early upgrade, i.e. if it costs two, not three, you're going to want to look to upgrade uh, combat cards. Combat cards is a really, really strong upgrade for Crimea. It's their best first upgrade, and it's the only faction that actually upgrades combat cards over bolster power. Now, that's not to say that there's no situations where I don't actually upgrade bolster power first, because if I'm really looking for a star and I have neighbors who are enlisting, then sometimes I actually don't really need the combat cards, and I pick up the bolster power to help ensure that I get this star. So it's actually a bit of a toss-up most of the time. Uh, bolstering for combat cards isn't your first upgrade is very good, and you can actually get this bolster power upgrade later. Um, but keep in mind that early game this is this is incredibly powerful, especially since as we've mentioned in previous videos, um, every action or every three coin action on a board is tied to the bolster action, and that means that and whatever the game developers consider to be the strongest action on the board, which is debatable with mechanical, um, is tied to the bolster action. Which means that Crimea is the only faction that can take their three gold action and still get resources on the top row for it, which is really quite strong. Especially in the early game, where other factions will take this bolster action but only if they really want the bottom row action, and they're not super happy about it most of the time.
yeah, I think that covers everything with Crimea. Just follow the basic steps, get your five workers, get your speed mech, move on to these two tiles, get your enlists, get your mechs, then move out, pick up this encounter if it's available, get onto this wood, get onto oil, uh, try to complete a card or something if it involves getting onto tundra tiles or like surrounding this lake or some other things that are pretty easy to do with Crimea. And have fun. Crimea is going to be one of the strongest games that you're you have access to. Um, biggest mistake is not prioritizing the enlist and not getting two combat cards with your first enlist. So make sure you do that and make sure you do that quick. And have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed.